Waveland, Miss. AP Tropical Storm Sally slowed down Sunday as it churned northward toward the U.S. Gulf Coast, increasing the risk of heavy rain and dangerous storm surge before an expected strike as a Category 2 hurricane in southern Louisiana. I know for a lot of people this storm seemed to come out of nowhere, said Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards. We need everybody to pay attention to this storm. Let's take this one seriously. Forecasters from the National Hurricane Center in Miami said Sally is expected to become a hurricane on Monday and reach shore by early Tuesday, bringing dangerous weather conditions, including risk of flooding, to a region stretching from Morgan City, Louisiana, to Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Edwards urged people to prepare for the storm immediately. He also said there are still many from southwestern Louisiana who evacuated from Hurricane Laura into New Orleans, exactly the area that could be hit by Sally, which is a slow-moving storm. Based on all of the available information, we have every reason to believe this storm represents a significant threat, he said, adding that the coronavirus adds a layer of complexity to storm preparations. There are still some five. 400 members of the state's National Guard mobilized from Laura, and they will assist with Sally. In Mandeville, a city about 35 miles north of New Orleans, resident Chris Yandel has purchased a week's worth of groceries and moved all his patio furniture into his family's house and shed in preparation for the storm. I'm mostly trying to stay calm, especially with a family of four and a dog to worry about, Yandel said. I've lived through many hurricanes growing up in Louisiana, but I haven't felt this anxious about a hurricane in my life. It needs to be understood by all of our friends in the coastal region and in South Mississippi that if you live in low-lying areas, the time to get out is early tomorrow morning," Governor Tate Reeves said late Sunday. In Waveland, Mississippi, Joey Chauvin used rope to tie down a tall wooden post topped with a statue of a pelican serving as a marker at the driveway leading to his weekend camp. He said a matching pelican marker on the opposite side of the driveway was washed away in Tropical Storm Cristobal earlier this summer. That storm pushed more than three feet of water into the area. If this one hits the coast as a cat too, I'm thinking we're gonna have at least six to seven feet of water where we're standing at, Chauvin said. So, yeah, we're definitely not going to stay. The system was moving west-northwest at 9 miles per hour, 15 kilometers per hour, on Sunday evening. It was centered 165 miles, 265 kilometers, south of Panama City, Florida, and 195 miles, 315 kilometers, east-southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River. On Sunday, Florida's Gulf Coast was battered with windy, wet weather. Pensacola, on Florida's Panhandle, was bracing for 10 to 15 inches 25 to 38 centimeters of rain.